just a fraction away of the ball for a 1-6-4, which might have just given his game a lift. It might have been the catalyst to lift his game. Is now 4-0 down. Yes, and already staring a possible embarrassment in the face, but uh, he's every right to be pleased with that start. If he can get this leg before the first break, it'll give him some heart, surely. Let's take ourselves back to the Premier League, the initial Premier League, the inaugural one in 2005, Dave. Semi-final, Shelton had Taylor on the ropes, didn't he, at 11-7 and throwing so extremely well and frankly ever since he lost that game he has never been in the match against Phil Taylor every time he's played him since I remember the last three legs before he went 11-7 up were 11-12 and 11 darts and Taylor was frankly reeling he was almost gone and Shelton couldn't finish the job off. And the following year, of course, he put in a magnificent performance, 44 average to beat Barnevelt, and then faulted in the final against this man. But that la turned up. But last night, of course, Taylor put nine legs together without missing a double, and, and very, very few people could live with that kind of electrifying burst of form. And I certainly don't think that Roland Shelton has that kind of ability. Wonderful player though he is. Taylor can really butcher people when he's in his most devastating mood. Yes, he can be a tinker, Taylor, when he wants to be. Shelton ought to open his account here. He's had three darts and a double. Hasn't hit one yet, but he would certainly prefer to go into the break with one leg. Just a crumb from the table, 85 the shot, Taylor's on 66, double top, two darts, that's high, just got to move down, and he hasn't, and again, that could be crucial and costly. Unconvincing, got to say, those two darts are double top. Means that Taylor wants now nine for double 16 for a clean sweep. And that hand of legs, if that's not a contradiction in terms. And yes, applause from wife Yvonne. He puts his darts in his pocket and he's going for a break. Does he really need one, Dave? He's hardly broken sweat. Phil Taylor has looked irresistible. Yes, Stoke City have done their bit. Now it's Port Vale's turn. The Port Vale half of the potter is here in the shape of the power and 5-0 up you should think Martin Noises. Foyle would be very happy with that a few times in the coming season I think that Shelton must be wondering if he should just go get a donkey from the sands and ride off into the sunset because he's had five shots at a double and missed all of them and when Taylor is in this kind of consistent mood we all know he just can't afford to miss a thing. He might be looking at 18s here. <laughs> yeah, he looked at it, he threw at it, and he got it. Well, whether he's 5 0 up or 5 0 oh, down, you still get the same expression from Roland Shelton, Davey, as we've said before. Hides all his emotions, if indeed he has any. I'm sure he has. You get more emotion from a dozen oysters. 96. So, not for the first time, needs a big score to put himself in contention. And uh, he's usually much, much closer to the treble than that. I think Mercy. nerves have got hold of him, really. I think he's finding this occasion. Rather difficult to handle, Dave. I just think that he allows Philip Taylor to intimidate him. Mind it has to be, he's not the only player 100. that has that kind of mind mindset about darts. Taylor can mangle you. Yes, like a rabbit in headlights. He's absolutely startled. 
Well, that's an indication just how seriously Roland Schultz is in trouble. Moving his attack immediately onto 19s this early in the match. Taylor can go 6 0 up here. Yeah, partly to do with the fact he's on 306 and he had uh, perhaps 170 in mind, but uh, I know what you're saying as Taylor looks here 96. to leave himself 20. Once it tops there to finish it off, he's still not satisfied. He's 5 0 up, he's 228 ahead, and he's still not satisfied that he didn't get closer and indeed in that double top. Ever the perfectionist. Well, this is one of the great factors about. Uh, Phil Taylor, his appetite and passion for the game just doesn't seem to diminish. Double, ten, the shot, right on the wide, just the merest little kiss along the barrel. Still there, still a possibility. Well, that's a kiss me quick hat that he didn't want to wear, and it's gone into the single ten, which means Shelton has an outside chance, can't do it now. So Phil Taylor having four darts and a double here in leg six now, looking at double five. And that isn't the best lie or marker. Got to come underneath it. But Taylor made it look so simple. Shelton looks for inspiration from somewhere, but with darts like that, Taylor is proving to be invincible. Yes, and uh, that's the sort of dart that Mervyn King was throwing uh, with great regularity with his first arrow this afternoon and had to come down, had to switch elsewhere. The ideal lies just, well, the ideal one is in the treble 20, but failing that just above it for people like Shelton King. Here, Taylor, quite happily found in the red bit. 140. So where can... Shelton find some inspiration. 6 0 down, averaging 83, hasn't hit a double yet. He's looking for a miracle, John, isn't he already? Well, yes, and uh, they don't often happen on the hockey when Taylor's around, unless, of course, the demand is on him. Now then. 140. Another 140. 221 plays 383 and Taylor through second. 41. Now those were very scruffy arrows from Shelton, it has to be said. Yes, he had 13-11 uh, victory over Chris Mason. 10-180s in that. What he'd give for 10-180s in this match. And uh, had a wonderful 120 finish uh, near the end when it was absolutely crucial. Uh, certainly played a big part in his victory. But no sign at all of that kind of form here. The spark has gone, hasn't it? And Taylor just says, thank you very much. I'm going to fill me boots. Well, this is one flying Dutchman who will be sunk without trace. Oh, he's on the Unless, rocks. Yep, he can do something about this. Taylor on double 16. His checkout percentage rate only 38% now in this particular match. Again, he's, he's using the markers cleverly. Let's see, that could possibly not be in, but I know that one is.